Good evening. Today we will see the post market report dated 13th May 2022. At the agenda for today is to know about Nifty and Nifty Bank updates, the top five gainers and the losers, and the corporate news. So starting with Nifty, we have the previous closing price of rupees 15,808, the opening price of rupees 15,977, the higher price of rupees 16,083.6, and the low price of rupees 15,740.85. In the contrast, we have Nifty Bank with the previous closing price of rupees 33,532.15, the opening price of rupees 33,925.95, the higher price of rupees 34,002.2, and the low price of rupees 33,007.9. So next, we shall see the top five gainers in the Nifty 50 market arranged in the descending order format. So the companies are as follows: Tata Motors, Sun Pharma, Hindustan Unilever, Mahindra Mahindra, and UPL. While for the top 5 losers in the Nifty 50 market, the, the following are the companies Hindelco, JSW Steel, SBI National Bank, NTPC and the ICICI Bank. Now coming to the corporate news, Zydus Life Sciences on Friday has launched in India its Bempedoic Acid Drug under the Bemdac brand for the treatment of uncontrolled levels of bad cholesterol. Next we have Brookfield Asset Management based Pipeline Infrastructure Limited has signed a pact with state-owned Gale for jointly developing a hydrogen-based ecosystem in India. The Memorandum of Understanding aims at collectively exploring the feasibility, desirability and the viability of hydrogen as a source of energy and thus building up a partnership between the companies, according to the officials. After that, we have Venus Pipe and Tubes IPO subscribed 7.4 times on day 3 while retail portion booked 11.85 times. In the case of the much-awaited initial public offering of Life Insurance Corporation of India has closed and the company finalized share allotment on May 12th, LIC's Rs. 20,557 crore IPO was sold in the range of Rs. 902 to 949 per equity share, where eligible policyholders received a discount of Rs. 60 apiece, whereas retailers and the eligible employees were offered a discount of Rs. 45 per share. Then we have Xiaomi India's Director of Offline Sales is leaving the company. Sunil Baby, the Director of Offline Sales at Xiaomi India has left the company. He was instrumental in shaping the company's offline presence in India. The development follows report of tax officials freezing deposits worth $478 million lying in local bank accounts of Xiaomi Corporation in February as a part of a probe into alleged tax evasion. Coming to LNT, it has backed a significant order from the Rajasthan government for executing a parallel carrier system to the Rajiv Gandhi Line Canal. According to the LNT project classification, the value of the order falls between Rs. 1000 to 2500 crore. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share the video. And you can contact us from the details given below. And that's all for today.